Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Near Reviews It Classics. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hi everybody, welcome back, Neil Reviews It, Classics, please like, share, and subscribe, leave a comment, a nice comment, no negativity, I can't handle it, I'm very frail. Today on Neil Reviews It, Classics, we are going to discuss the 2016 film pop star, Never Stop Never Stoppin'. This is not the 2013 film Pop Star, aka Lip Service. This is a Lonely Island film, so this is Andy Samberg, Yorma Tacconi, I'm guessing is the pronunciation, and Akiva Schaefer. They're Lonely Island. They had a pilot for Fox. It was a sketch show that was brilliant and Andy ended up doing joining the cast of SNL with Yorma and Akiva as writers. They did all the digital shorts back then. So all those songs like uh, Dick in the Box with Justin Timberlake and I'm on a boat with T-Pain, that's Lonely Island. They did uh, the Bash Brothers movie. Movie? Collection of videos. Uh, that was really interesting and fun and funny. I believe they did Hot Rod. I mean, I know Andy Samberg was in Hot Rod. I, I think that was the three of them. I think that was their movie also. And uh, Andy Samberg, of course, is in Brooklyn Nine-Nine now with uh, Stephanie Beatriz and Terry Crews and Joe Lotruglia. I forget if that's his name or not. That's a really great cast. That's a really great sitcom. It's written very well. It's very fast-paced. It reminds me of, like, Happy Endings or 30 Rock. It's just really quick-moving. So it's basically the Lonely Island guys were like this boy band called, uh... I forget what they're called. What were they called? They were in a boy band, and then Andy Samberg's character left to do a solo career, and it blew up, and then the follow-up album is a flop, and he's just trying to get, I guess trying to get his fame back or trying to stay trying to keep a career uh, the stakes are weird it's just supposed to be gags after gag and I guess it is but it didn't do it for me I wasn't and it's not like I don't like dumb movies I like dumb stuff I, this just didn't work for me Tim Meadows is in this. He plays uh, their manager, Chris Red from SNL. He plays like this up and coming rapper, Maya Rudolph, maybe? I feel like Maya Rudolph is in everything. I'm just going to say Maya Rudolph whether she's in it or not. Because I feel like every SNL alum movie stars Maya Rudolph in one way or another. Is that Maya Rudolph? I can't remember. I don't, uh, nothing stuck with me. Lots of cameos, 50 Cent, Seal. Man, I don't even know. Just people playing themselves, talking about how great, how great, oh, Nas, for some reason, t talking about how great Connor for real is. Yeah, this is bad. It just, it wasn't, oh, it was like nothing, uh, nothing to sink your teeth into. 
I, I mean, I see why people would like it. I'm not, I'm not obtuse on this one. I get, I get the appeal. It's quick, concise, just silliness. But it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't great silliness. I don't know. I'm all for a silly movie, but this didn't do it for me. I wasn't uh, for fun. I'm gonna give it like a. I'll give it a skull bobblehead, just to like, you know, not to be such a jerk. And I don't want to do like too. I feel like I just did a bad review for something. I don't want to be bad reviewing everything. Uh, so yeah, skull bobblehead for fun and. There's nothing to the story. I'll give it a rubber duck because it wasn't like offensive, but there's no story. And I don't know. Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you know, check out the 7 inch, check out the website. It's got all the information for everything. Futs around on this channel. See if there's some other stuff you might like. And uh, thank you for watching. Music. What is it?